Hey everybody, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, real quick here, we're going to do a comparison of the EDC-3 and the GSO-3. I've chosen to use the Sabre Ground variant of the EDC-3 just because it's the most closely related to the GSO-3. Um, you can see there are some differences even though they are very similar. With the GSO-3, uh, this is more of a camping outdoor style design, so uh, a lot of that is designed around that. Uh, we've, I don't know, you can watch the full video on that for all the highlights on uh, the designs of that, but uh, you can see they're different use case. Um, we have a more of a spear point here to be able to drag that tip strength out here pretty far while still being high enough to be batonable. Um, it's just a good overall outdoor knife uh, in a really, really small package. I think this is about the most compact we could make a kind of a full-size knife, if we can call this little thing that. Um, really generous pommel back there, and we talked about that in the other tabletop review video, but a uh, little bit longer handle and just a more durable construction overall, but the EDC-3 also brings some neat things to the table here with this radius machine spine, that little bit of shadow boxing, uh, beyond being more swappable for the handles and being able to accessorize this more or less, this does make the handle feel a little more interesting. Uh, there's more to index on here when you're holding it, so it does feel a little bit different than the GSO-3, and I, I dare say I really like this. Uh, I like both, but if I if I had to just pick one of these up right now and carry it out of the woods, it would I think it would be this one, uh, just because of the sleek nature of it and being that it's a more carryable version of the GSO-3. We just shaved a lot of different things off where it was a little unnecessary for a, an everyday carry design. Uh, so it's just a little bit lighter, a little more nimble, and a little bit thinner while still having a, a full handle to grab there. I don't know if Ellie could reach around here to... So she did that in the other video, but then we can still look at Ellie's hand here in this video. Uh, if you have a smaller hand, these are just great knives. They're not, it's it's not a belt knife, it's just a good knife. Uh, if you're a bigger person like me, uh, that's definitely more of a belt knife thing, but uh, I'd have no hesitation in taking either of these out and trusting my life with these. Uh, they're well-constructed small knives. So anyway, uh, I hope that answered some questions. Uh, they are similar, but they're still quite a bit different. And uh, due to the manufacturing methods, you'll notice this one's a couple dollars cheaper. So uh, there's that. I, I hope that uh, took care of those questions. If you have questions, keep uh, shooting Tyler messages and we'll keep making videos. So anyway, uh, thanks again for stopping by and we'll talk to you again soon.